Hello. Hey. Wow. Uh, welcome. Welcome to 10 Minute Talk Show. I'm your host, Aaron Fergie. It's a talk show, 10 minutes in length. Ah, uh, we're so lucky. We, we're now shooting 10 Minute Talk Show next to a bus stop. Hey, everybody. So much foot traffic. It's great. These people are just waiting for a streetcar this late. Yeah, that's good. Uh, welcome. Oh, my God. I have to quickly uh, respond to a viewer email we got. Uh, some people were like, oh, I was binge watching the show. I was binge watching the show, and I saw a bunch of February episodes, and then, boom, it just jumps all the way back to December. What the hell? January, they said. Uh, emails I got. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and I, well, I just want to explain because I, I have that connection with my audience. Uh, so I was actually in Ireland for January, so we didn't shoot in January. We didn't have any January episodes. And for those of you who ran out of things to watch on the internet, uh, I was in Ireland, and uh, it could happen. And uh, I got to tell you, I know Canada has a reputation for being friendly, but I got to tell you, Ireland, like they, they're aggressively friendly. They are. They could compete professionally with their friendliness. <laughs> like they just throw their friendliness towards you. They like, throw you. As soon as we arrived, we got to our hotel. The first person at the, uh, like, we upgraded your room and gave you extra hand towels, no charge. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. It's not very busy in a museum this morning. I didn't charge your daughter admission. Oh, fucking, I'm sorry I have a child. Jeez, like it's, like it's nice. They're doing nice things, but it's with the urgency of, my mother died in my arms this morning. Like it's really, there's an, there's an urgency that I don't understand. Anyway, my, the headline of the story is Ireland was great. It really was. I don't know why that landed a laugh, but it was really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of things I like, let's, let's meet your first guest. Uh, uh, he's a comedy mainstay. You've seen him on so many, uh, so many impressive things. Uh, you've seen him on your television. Yes, your television specifically. Uh, and his new album, uh, Chicken, is up for a damn Juno, for God's sake. Please welcome Pat Cordy. Yeah, buddy. Hey. Hello. What? 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 I'm in here. What's going on? Why are you here? Uh, you told me to come here. Oh, okay. That's why. Good, good. That story checks yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I did up? say it in an Irish accent, so you were like, okay, <laughs> Jesus, I'll be there. How the heck are you, for God's sake? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty I, good. Th I thoroughly enjoy you and your body of work, and mm. just your body. Thank Thank you. Your body. Thank you. I keep it tight and right. You, you feel that smolder between us? <laughs> we have a Sam and Diane thing, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> it's a deep cut. Uh, so uh, I wanted to have you on the show for a while. We're now in season three. I wanted to have you on for a bit, but it was something you posted recently that actually was like, you know what, I'm going to crank this up a little bit and get mm -hmm. you here, get you here now. Uh, you were talking about your album, which is up for a Juno. Hello. Uh, Very nice. And... You were very forthcoming about the fact that you felt like you waited too long to record it. And you were like, hey, folks, so you want to do something, freaking do it. I, I'm not as eloquent as you. Yeah. But t t walk us through that story. Well, I took a long time to, to uh, record my album. And then, uh, and then after I recorded it, I didn't listen to it for a year. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I was just like convinced that it couldn't be good. And then, uh, and then I was finally like, I have to put this out. And then I got my neighbor to help me put it out and we put it out and now I'm nominated for a Juno. Oh. So, uh, turns out I'm not very smart. No. <laughs> no, that's dumb. That's so dumb. Yeah. You, could have, you yeah. Could have had a whole year of income stream and you yeah, blew it. Yeah, yeah. You blew it. No, I, yeah, I'm blowing it all the time. <laughs> and uh, can we just take... <laughs> That got, so that got saucy. Uh, and I want to point this out. And this is gonna this is gonna smell like a cliche. This, uh -huh. is, this is gonna sound like a thing that you're supposed to say. But I swear to you, my hand of God, this is a real thing. The four other people that are in your category mm -hmm. are rock solid. You got your Dave Mahesh, you got your Deb Giovanni, you got your yeah. Deb Giovanni, you got your Shanti, you got your Mace. Like this, like literally. And this is not lip service. Literally, not a single album in that category would surprise me if they won. So I want to acknowledge the fact that that album holds up with those four other categories on their own. Hello. Is Pretty what I'm good. saying is my point. So uh, have you chatted with these other guys? The other nominees? Well, as category? soon as the uh, nomination came out, uh, Deborah started a um, like a Facebook chat with all of us to just nice congratulate everybody, and we all agreed no stinkers. <laughs> no stinkers. Yeah, no and, stinkers. And I could name about five other Canadian albums that that could, could, could be there too. <laughs> 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 Watch this. Watch this. Uh, Led Zeppelin 4. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's see where we are. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're all... They, uh, Leonard, Leonard Chan, I'm telling you for the last time. Good. Right? Yeah. There he is. That's his. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, 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 Robert Munch mm -hmm. had a Solid. really great... Solid. It's filthy. It's a filthy <laughs> album. 
Murphy. Oh my God, he got he went so blue. You know what I mean? Like he makes he makes Andrew Dice Clay look like a small Smurf. I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, a small Smurf, no less. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, where were we talking about? Oh yeah, we we're talking about comedy. This is yeah, what, this is what uh, comedians do when they yeah, hang out. Yes. About albums or. <laughs> We're talking about yeah. albums. So, uh, so on the night, is there is there an after party that's already planned? You, you crazy, you comedians, you all get together. You have is there is there a Juno after party? Well, planned? we don't uh, get that. Our award is not given out on the broadcast. Oh, what? Our award is given out the night before. Uh, the night before. <laughs> Boo. We're, we're booing that. Anyway, that means uh, you can still, but you can still party. You can still hang oh, no, out. No, yeah, there's definitely going to be a party. I don't. It's going to be at a hotel room. I can't tell you where it is. Um, don't do that. It's don't definitely going to be a party. But uh, yeah, yeah, it, it'll yeah. be a, a great time. And we're doing a big show in London. Although uh, nominees as part of the Juno's so England on March fifteenth. Oh, Mar- oh, uh, London, Ontario. Ontario. Ontario where oh, the that Junos makes are. yeah. A bit more sense. If you get nominated for Juno, you get to go to London, Ontario in March. Baby. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they do not cover expenses. They do not. No, they, they do not. They do not. not. No. Uh, so I just want to say, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love your message about not waiting. I love your yeah. message about not, not being so hard on yourself, about your craft mm-hmm. and everything else. Uh, so let's just say somebody out there is sitting on an album that they recorded and they've been sitting on this for a year. What do you want to say to the person? Just, what do you want to say to them? I can't them? guarantee you you're going to be nominated for a Juno. <laughs> But that doesn't mean don't try. <laughs> there are people who want to hear your stuff more than you want to hear it. I promise you. Yeah. Put it out. Yeah. yeah. Put it out. <laughs> Next year, nominate it again. Pat Thornton. Put it out. That's obviously. Put it out. <laughs> uh, get your get your ass to iTunes, Spotify too, right? Yeah, Spotify, yeah, yeah. Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get the album Chicken and watch the Junos, even though you can't. Chicken has an <laughs> uh, exclamation point on the end, so it's more like Chicken. Yeah, chicken. That's that's important. Yeah. Otherwise you're get you're <laughs> otherwise you're gonna end up with some culinary oh, thing. Oh, you don't want that. You don't you're want gonna that. end up with some cooking podcast, yeah. and that's gonna be a disaster. Yeah. Nominated for Juno, that's Pat Thornton, everybody. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Our next guest also got some impressive comedy things going on. They're doing a they're doing a show for the Annex Cat Rescue on uh, 5th, March 15th. So if you're pro cat, get to that. And for our folks over, <laughs> thank you. We have some here proof. Uh, also, he's going to be at the uh, Halifax Comedy Festival in April. So go to that as well. You damn right. People are pro Halifax. Please welcome Leonard Chan, everybody. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Hi, I'm Leonard. I'll be your Asian for the night. <laughs> yeah, so my parents are from Hong Kong. I grew up in Canada, so my childhood was a uh, mixture of white and Asian stuff, so like peanut butter and jelly fish. <laughs> so uh, I'm married. Uh, I married a white woman. Yeah, yeah, because screw those white guys with their Asian girl fetishes. I'm taking one back for the team. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we need this. My team's getting killed right now. <laughs> so uh, here's a fun fact. My wife's name is Jackie. If you guys are paying attention, my last name is Chan. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah, she took my name. I'm married to Jackie Chan. <laughs> the irony of my life. Always want a white woman. Finally get one, marry her, turn her into the most famous Asian in the world. <laughs> Man, I got married for that joke. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, this is what I learned about marriage, man. This is what I learned about marriage. It's about putting up with stuff, right? Like my wife is late all the time, drives me crazy. Because I was always taught to be on time. The other day I called my mom. I was like, mom, should get together, have a family dinner. It's been a while. She's like, yeah, we've been having family dinners for the last six months. We just haven't invited you because you're late all the time. It's embarrassing. Oh. Yeah. I was like, what the f- <laughs> Who's at these family dinners? I'm an only child. <laughs> So uh, my wife wants to do The Amazing Race together. You guys know The Amazing Race? Yeah. Yeah. So you know time management, critical skill to doing well at the show. So yeah, let's do it. It'd be a super fun way to get divorced, (laughs) right? (laughs) Because that's what would happen. Like, it's so stressful. Like, my wife being late all the time is stressing me out so much I'm having nightmares about it. Like, a couple weeks ago, I had a nightmare that my wife and I were two unicorns late for the (laughs) ark. 
Yeah. And I'm trying to get to the door. I'm like, we gotta go. It's a boat party. You can't be late for a boat party. <laughs> and she's like brushing her mane, painting her hose, whatever his unicorns do to get ready. <laughs> so we get, we leave late. We get to the dock just in time. Watch the ark sail away. Starts to rain. I wake up furious. <laughs> and my wife is just sleeping next to me, all innocent, like she's not responsible for the death of an entire species. <laughs> And I'm like, you monster. I briefly consider smothering her with a pillow. <laughs> uh, I don't, obviously don't, because I, lo I love her, I love her. Also, it's not gonna help me. Even if she's dead, she's still gonna be my late wife. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> you guys are fantastic.